you into my life or whatever. Forever, feeling like you could do better, better than me. I'm wishing OT, wishing you stay. Hey guys, what's up going on here today and welcome back to a brand new video. Apologies for not uploading this series in ages guys. Might actually be episode 13 now we're back on. You see here, just selling so many different things. The screen cards have actually, I saw them when they are upgraded. You saw all these Baines and Borgia Valeros that I invested in on stream guys. And uh, in the last episode, um, I showed you them all there and I listed them all up obviously. Now you can see them all sold. We made some crazy profit, up to 366k now, but that's not all. We've got a load of supporting players which I forgot to sell on, so <laughs> there's not really much profit here to be fair. But we've got this Pedente for 700k, then we found for 800 Same with all these cards really. This um, Bataglia here, we can have to sell him on for 800 as well. It's all, the, all these uh, golds are going to be, look. You can see here, um, yeah, that's the only way we're going to have to sell them on. So we're going to have to list them up for 800 here, so... And then Doombia, going for around 950 So list them up for 900 here, so there's one, two, three of them. I forgot to list these up guys when I was out yesterday, so pretty much we didn't do great there. And we have all these here, this silver guy, I mean, he sells on for a little bit. If it loads, yeah, we got about uh, 1.2k here, I think 1.1k, something like that. So we're going to list him up, along with this guy here who sells for literally nothing. But we're going to list him up for a profit. They will sell on just for 700. Same with this guy here, he's a right mid, but yeah, 900 will do for him. And then for all these guys, same again, 900. And finally, Fernandez, he enlisted for 650 just to get rid of 600, whatever. And there we go, guys. So you can see a few of these have already sold on. But these are just to get rid of them, basically, because I forgot all about them. So I hope we can sell all of these on and not make a loss. But yeah, I'm going to try and get this series out more frequently now, guys. But yeah, 370k around here. Hoping about 375 and everything else. Right guys, we're back here now and as you can see here, we've gone through a couple of the marquee matchups so from a while back now, it was River Plate and uh, Bayern I believe, uh, yeah, Dortmund Bayern and River Plate Boca Juniors, so every now and again guys, we'll pretty much do a bit of trading in the episode and then do a few SBCs, so you see here now, we look at this one and we completed the seven suspects as well, so that's a jumbo premium gold pack right there, complete that one into there. And then if you look at Prime 9, we started it, but we haven't finished it, so I'm not going to bother with that one. We'll get that one done at some point anyway. And uh, you see here now, it's sold in a lot of the um, sporting players and the Snyder there. That I think happened by mistake. I can't remember what happened with that one. We've just got a Lanzini left and a Pelé now. So we come in here, and as you can see, we do have ourselves 350 extra coins. They're up to 362k right now. And then we do actually go into the store and open these two packs that we've got. We've got a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack to start off with here. And hopefully we can get something good out of this. And it is bored. It's a great start here. And here we go then. Hopefully we can get something nice out of this pack. England centre-back. It's Gary Cahill. I do believe he sells a 3 or 4 k so that's pretty decent. So we can sell that one on for a nice little bit of profit. And hopefully that does bring us back to most of our coins pretty much. There's not that many coins that we need to make back from these. Because they were pretty cheap, these two teams. So hopefully that will be like a massive like step towards making all our coins back. You see here now we go and look at Foster. Because I thought he may sell a little bit and he did for 4 50 so then now what we do is we go through all these players and this one for 450 because everyone buys it but then suddenly sort of went and actually sold for extra. I was a bit shocked really. So obviously we went over and sorted that one out and listed them up. Then we listed all these random ones up for 450 because obviously with the two player packs people like um, having these players they have to buy them for 450 off the market. So it's an extra 100 coins pretty much and then you get yourself some nice coins. So I mean 100 coins a player so 500 extra coins that I wouldn't have got there. CM to CDM I believe it doesn't really sell we go double check it but no it doesn't we get quick sell the rest of that right there and we go into the big pack now and hopefully we can hit something really nice here and you see the better pack we don't get borders which is really annoying actually i couldn't believe that but uh, yeah we get i saw the center back from real betis uh, i think it's mandy or someone like that um so yeah mandy and just i mean it's an awful pack to be fair um yeah, nothing really very special, unfortunately. So we just move on from that and just go and put everything in there, like the squad finishes and whatever, guys. If you are enjoying these episodes, guys, up to episode 13, now let me know. We will try and obviously bring out more of these if I can. Thanks so much for watching these, guys. If you have enjoyed, please do drop a like as well on these uh, episodes. And let me know how often you want to see these. I mean, you see here, K has sold for 4.5K. Yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.